new month, new incubating project. Let's get started. Woo! So the past few months, we have been testing out a few new cheaper incubators, and there's one more kind of cheap one that I've been wanting to test out for a while. Let's check it out. So we are getting the Janol 12. I think in the past it was called the Magic Fly Incubator. Not sure if some company discontinued using it, what the Magic Fly Incubator became, or a knockoff of it, or let's put this together and try it out. All right, I lost my helper while I was learning to use this incubator. So we have two different kinds of trays. This one is a smaller one that goes on the bottom only when we're ready to hatch. So we're gonna save that. Right now we're gonna use this one. This one sits up higher in here. And the reason we do that is because we've got our trays right here. And so this basically is a tray. It's gonna have a little device. It's gonna push down right here and it's gonna rotate them from side to side in here. And so it has to be on this higher tray. If it's on the lower tray, it won't be able to move around. This tray right here can actually change sizes. And so I could actually put real little eggs in there. I could put some bigger eggs. I can make this open and I could do a really big egg in there. So we'll move that around once we figure out what kind of eggs we're gonna put in here. And so I can put water down into the bottom of this for humidity. We'll have our egg tray, we'll have our eggs. And then that all combines to make our incubator that's ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in, power it up, start warming it up here in just a little bit. I'll show you what kind of eggs we're gonna put inside here. All right, our incubator is ready to go. We just started getting some button quail again after our seven button quail have started to lay. We got some Tennessee red quail eggs right there. And then check these out. So our chickens, of course, lay eggs. This is a double yolk egg. There's actually two yolks in here. We've never actually been able to get one of these to hatch out. Usually what'll happen is that one will start to develop. It'll cause the other one to not have enough space to develop in there, but love to see if we can get one of these double yolk eggs to develop. So let's get them in the incubator. All right, we've got our incubator up and running. Eggs are in there. We've got two different hatching dates to deal with. We've got around 17, 18 days for the quail eggs, around 21 days for those double yolk eggs if they are to hatch out. But for now, we'll just let them sit and incubate. So you guys ready to hear a weird story? Well, I'm in here editing a video that will come out on a day or two. You guys have already seen it and I'm hearing this sound over here. Surely it's gotta be coming from my video and not from this incubator because I think we're like on day seven or something. Somehow I totally missed keeping track of this incubator and it's day 16, you guys. And the tiniest little button quail just hatched out. Now what's fun is that these button quail start hatching fast and furious. So this one is unzipping his egg right here and we'll be out in just a few moments. given up on the eggs in this incubator. It's been 23, 24 days now, and I haven't been getting these Tennessee red quail, which they're a version of Bob White quail. I haven't been able to get them to hatch. Well, it turns out I haven't been letting them go long enough. We are now on day 24, and look what we've got here. Look at these little red quail. Just hatched this morning. They are easily two to three times as big as the button quail. Still much smaller than it should. It's so exciting to finally get some of them to hatch. I had no idea that they took so long. 24 days. Uh, now pheasants, duck eggs, they'll take 28 days. Peafowl, turkeys, they'll all take 28 days to hatch. But I had no idea that some quail can take up to 24 days to hatch. We still got some more that are gonna hatch. I think we're about out of time on the double yolk eggs to hatch, but we'll check those out as well here soon. Right now, we're about a week into it. The button quail is almost the size of the Tennessee red quail. But right now, they are they look very similar. These guys are starting to feather out where these guys just hatched. Whole bunch of them. Little popcorn balls. We had six hatch in the last two days. Go put them into the brooder. You wanna see these? Let me see them. Six little guys in there. What do you think, bud? Now there's 11 in there. There's three button quail. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Little Tennessee red quail. Our last little Tennessee red quail. Oh, 
by himself in here for the last day. Time to go to your new home, meet your buddies. All right, we're ready to turn this incubator off. Just a couple quail eggs that didn't hatch and then our double yolk eggs. And so I wanted to check them out, see if anything ended up developing in there. We did have to take some quick action with our quail today. We've got all of our Tennessee red quail down there and we'd heard that they needed to have their own space, but I thought that was when they were bigger and it turns out they're pretty mean even when they're little. We have three button quail in with them and I saw this one getting beat up. This one actually had its beak partially taken off from those Tennessee Reds and so we got them separated and put them in their own space right over here. They looked a little rough but hopefully they'll make a full recovery. This is our older double yolk egg. Let's see if anything was in here. Oh man. There's a chicken here, fully developed. Looks really good but never hatched. And then here's the newer double yolk egg. Another chick, fully developed. That's such a bummer. So I know some of you guys don't like seeing the opened eggs upsets you, and I'm, I'm sorry for that, but I really wanted to see if there were two yolks in each of those. Glad to see there were developed chicks. I'm disappointed that they didn't hatch, but. So it looks like just one chick developed in each. I think there was a second yolk, but it fell apart during the hatching. Oh my goodness. April 20th, snow in Missouri. This is ridiculous. We just got our bees. We just got a bunch of trees planted. Hopefully they all make it. We've been giving the boys a couple chores that are specifically theirs each day. So Uriah has the pigs to do every morning. Eli, what are your chores in the morning? Turkeys and chickens. Eating snow? <laughs> Enjoying this weather? No. the Janol 12 incubator. I see why this one is as popular as it is. This is a really simple design and I gotta be honest, it works pretty great. I would definitely recommend this over the other two that I tested earlier this year, the mini nine egg incubator. It was pretty fun, the light up underneath was really cool but kind of a gimmick because it was really hard to pick up the eggs inside of the little cradle. The second incubator was the 16 egg incubator and it did rotate and it did have a little egg candler and I was pretty happy with it but it seemed like the air throughout the middle but it didn't spread throughout and so I had some pretty poor hatching on that incubator and this one I've got to say even though our our double yolk eggs didn't end up hatching. I'm really happy with how all of our quail did. I think this would do great for just about any type of chicken, duck, turkey, quail, things like that that don't require precise humidity. And because this incubator is so small, it was able to reset itself to the temperature if you had the lid off for a minute or two. It's got this little piece right there. Even though I couldn't really watch it turning, it did a great job turning the eggs for me, so I didn't have to worry about that, and I love that in an incubator. I'd say the only issue is the humidity. No matter how much water I poured into the bottom of this, I always use our own thermostat in there and it always seemed to stay right around 60% humidity. So you need really accurate humidity. This is not the incubator for you, but if you're needing a cheapish incubator, the Janol 12 Magic Fly Incubator, it's a winner. And so even though I'd like to use this one, I'm gonna go ahead and give this one away and I'll give one more away to our foreign viewers. So just tell me in the comments what you'd hatch out with this. Tell me if you're in the US or what country you're in. We'll give this away to somebody in the US and then I'll ship one out to somebody somewhere else in the world so they can enjoy this incubator as well. Happy hatching.
we've got all of our Tennessee red quail out. I've got three right here in my hands. One up top and two in my fingers here. We've got two. I got one. What do you got? Two. And so we've got eight of these squirmy little guys. And we had to separate them out into their own brooder because they were beating up our button quail. And we've got these three button quail. If I let them get an inch, they will be flying around this house. One morning we came out, we didn't have a lid on their brooder. This little one was wandering around and we had to move things around to try to, to find it and eventually found it. But white one here on the end, right here, is doing great. This one and this one have both lost a little bit of their upper beak to the Tennessee red. So we learned that lesson to not keep them together even at this young. So some more really cool coloring on these guys. This will take our button quail numbers up to 10 if these guys all make it outside. Good luck on the giveaway. And we'll see you next time. Oh my feet. <laughs> 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 <laughs>